Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to get into this nice light brown, more like a sandy brown that I did on this 613 blonde wig baby. Let's get into it. All right guys, so I'm gonna take this 613 and I'm gonna use my favorite hair color from the CVS store, guys. I'll link it in the description below. What I'm doing here is wetting this 613 because I don't want the color to like turn really fast and I'm really not trying to get it dark. So you can see here, I'm going ahead, I'm applying it on here while it's wet and you can see it's getting darker and it goes pretty fast so i wet it so that it would turn you know at an even uh pace when it comes to timing so uh it really it goes dark pretty quick but i really like the tone okay so one thing i do want you to know is i did not use a 10 volume with this uh, mixture I used what was in the contents of the box because I had previously wet the actual 613 hair so it wasn't going to process the same so just use what's in the contents and wet the hair and so I dried the unit and it looks amazing I'm gonna take it to better lighting okay so this is the outcome guys I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm going to fringe the front of it and I'm gonna show you guys like pretty much an easy way to do that I'm gonna go in with some Kenra serum it's one of my favorite serums to use I'm just gonna make sure that I massage it throughout the entire unit Okay, so here I placed the actual unit on my head just to get a look at it. And those eyebrows are dark, baby. But the color is amazing. Okay, so we're going to cut it. I'm going to pull two pieces from the left and the right. I'm going to pull it to the middle. Decide exactly where I want those layers to start right at my chin. And I'm going to just go ahead and cut that. That's going to be my guide. Okay, so now I'm gonna slice a section from each side, from the left and right, and I'm gonna pull it towards the middle at a 45 degree angle, pulling it down to that actual guide that I cut. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that at a 45 degree angle, and that's gonna put my layers on each side. Okay, so here's a better view. You can actually see your guide here. And all we're gonna do is cut this at a 45 degree angle and continue to do this all the way down the front. Okay, so you can see here, I put a little um, paper tissue right here so you can see that angle and it's perfect. So now all we have to do is do the bottom portion. So I'm basically going to go ahead and start where I stopped and continue to cut it all the way down. Okay, so I silked it out with my flat irons just so you can actually kind of see the cut around the front, the fringe area. So I combed it forward so you'll be able to see it here and also from the front. Okay, baby, so these eyebrows are too dark for this hair, honey, so I had to color my eyebrows. I'll link the information on what I used on my eyebrows in the description box because I had no idea I was going to put this clip in here. I was just doing something, but I just wanted to show you guys whenever I'm like wearing lighter colored hair, I will go ahead and color my eyebrows. Okay, guys, we're going to be using our bowl whole lemon burst. So we're going to clean our skin. You can use a makeup wipe, you can use facial uh, wash. Uh, we're asking that you stay away from the alcohol because the alcohol tends to rip at the skin. It leaves it open for uh, whatever injury, whatever you put on there, then you put the lace on there, then you're going to, for some people, they may have issues because it can't, <clears throat> that the skin can't breathe. Okay, so we want you to stay away from the alcohol, guys. And some people are doing overkill with the alcohol. It's causing problems because some people use the alcohol to take their lace 
off. We have lace remover for that, guys, on the website. You can click that. Well, you might not be able to click it, but the link is in my bio. I like my eyebrows, too, y'all. Can y'all tell? <laughs> I like my eyebrows because it was not, it was not looking right with Miss Sandy here. Yes, Miss Sandy, honey. Miss Sandy. She got a little bit of Aaliyah going on right there. But, yeah, so... You have eczema. Yeah, so we're just kind of like looking at some things. Because I got people who have eczema that use the active and they don't have any issues, right? I got people who have psoriasis and eczema that use the um, the extreme and they don't have any issues. But like I said, it's always going to be different from person to person. You sweat a lot. <clears throat> yeah, so a lot of times like between the two this is still the after formula and like i said it's a um we're doing a trial period for the next year to see like how it cooperates with different people's skin because of the lemon myrtle yeah alcohol and you can talk to any dermatologist or esthetician and they'll tell you about alcohol see here's the issue because you got some people that are like i've been using alcohol never had a problem or either I, I have talked to people who use alcohol to clean their face. But a lot of times you're not putting lace on top of there and just letting it sit and it can't breathe. Okay, so in some instances, people who overdo it and rub too hard, they do rub the skin off. All right, so we're going to cut this lace. I don't have, y'all know I like to cut my lace before. So I don't have my um, peaking shears or zigzag shears. So I'm going to use my... Just some regular little nail uh, scissors. Yes, Miss Sandy. And when I cut it, I'm not going to cut it straight. This lace right here is HD lace. We don't have these. Uh, this was originally a 613 wig. And we don't have these available. When I do, I will post it. So when I cut it, I'm, I have, I'm working two cameras right now too. So, sometimes when I do a cotton ball, I don't know if it's because I'm goofy, but when I do a cotton ball, it'd be like little cottons left behind, little cotton pieces left behind, so I don't do a cotton ball. But if you notice here, I'm not cutting it straight. I'm kind of going in and out, making it jacked, because I feel like when you lay, lay it down on the glue, it lays better. And for me, I just like to cut mine before. But I'm going to let y'all see this after. Straight. I don't know if y'all can see that now. Let me turn it this way. Yeah, I don't do a combo. I just do it. I just get a paper towel. Yeah, I don't do a combo. So you can see it's not, I don't know if y'all can see right there, but it's not necessarily straight. It's kind of like curved. Yeah, a little goes a lot. A lot of people don't believe that. Like, I don't know what it is I have to do. And that's sometimes I'm over-exaggerating, like, even on uh, the install or even on, like, when I'm doing things. Like, showing you different techniques. I may over-exaggerate it a little bit. It shows how to move the glue out the lace. I actually made two videos on my YouTube. And I have them on here as well on my live. Like, I'll do it live. I don't have a wig here to do it on so I guess I could jump back on live and do it live but I do have some live say that you can go back and watch if you get some uh, dye on the lace you can actually use some uh, it's a product I think I got it on my YouTube why well, I can't think of it right now but anyway it's a product I actually posted it you can go use that product and it'll get it out I can't even think of the name of it right now so this is where I'm at Do your skin protect before you um draw that out. If y'all draw y'all out. So I'm gonna go in with my skin protect. Smells so lovely. But beyond the smell, what's most important about the actual ingredients is the fact that it has the antibacterial in it. We were just discussing how some people skip using the skin protect. Don't wipe it on, guys. Dab it on. You only need one or two layers. Don't drench your face with it because it's very concentrated. So just dab it on. 
It's not, don't, don't rub it on because you're going to wipe it right off. Okay. Uh-uh, y'all. I'm going to show y'all how to do it. And then we got a lot of uh, 613 blonde weeds coming in this week. So we'll be able to put some stuff back on the website. I'm going to show you how to do it. Y'all can't have my weeds no more. Mm-mm. This is so vital to your installs, guys. Using the Skin Protect is very vital. You can use this one or you can use the original. What it's going to do is going to block sweat. It's also going to make your unit last longer. They hear me in here talking to you. They say, hey, Ashley. They can't hear you because you don't want to come on camera. <laughs> She's so funny. So let that dry before you start your application. And I already dotted it out. And of course, dot it out after the Skin Protect. Okay, y'all right. Trina, I see you. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my lemon burst. All right, so we're going to talk about this. I, I, a lot of times when I'm explaining things, I like to keep it very simple. I try to make it uh, so that anybody can understand it. Um, as well as people who are advanced, people who are not advanced. So a lot of times the way that I do it, it may look elementary to some, but it's for a reason. It's so that people can keep from having uh, mistakes. The Lemon Protect will be back on tomorrow. Tomorrow is the final restock. Y'all just be able to buy y'all a life away, okay? So we should be all like ahead of the game, all right? So on this, um, on, on all of your glues, no matter which one of our Boho products you're using, you have to make sure you're not using a lot. Especially for those people who are not familiar with doing an install. Like, you have to take your time, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna apply my glue here. I'm gonna use this spatula. Uh, I, I like to use my fingers or I'll use this spatula because it's gonna get it flat. It's super important that you get it flat. So I have my little dots, you can see my dots. Big old head, right? Then what you wanna do is lay it down. I'm gonna lay my glue right in front of those dots, right? I don't wanna um, put a bunch of glue on here and I'm always saying this because I know that I have all type, you got professionals watching, you have people who never done an install watching, but if I put a, if I've never, if I'm not used to using glue and I don't understand the consistency and I go on here and I just put a bunch of glue on here, it's not going to dry properly. Okay. So just do a little bit at a time and smooth it out. The thinner the layer, the better you, the hold is going to be. A lot of people don't believe that until it until it happened or until they email us or contact us. Hey, I need help. And then when I run through it with them or my team run through the um, steps with them, they're, they're seeing that they're just using too much glue. Okay. So I feel like when you do it a little bit at a time, it keeps you from using too much glue. Okay. And it also helps with it uh, drying properly and drying even. Cause you don't want it to have like dry in some places and then some places it didn't dry because it's still, you know, white. It's super important that it goes on thin. And if you're a first timer, the only way you're going to ensure that it is dry and clear and going on thin is just do a little bit at a time. Take your time. It's okay. There's no need to rush. They drop any questions? Because I can't see the screen right now, y'all. I think Ashley going to help me with questions. If you put this on hair, it's not going to dry fast. Uh, adhesive was made for skin and for skin only. Okay. If it touches hair like back here, it is not going to dry fast. It was made for skin. Majority of our customers are um, hair loss customers. It was created for hair loss. If you're wearing for trend, it's very important that you follow all of my instructions. It's very vital. I 
I don't like using a um I don't like using a blow dryer. I, I don't prefer it because I want it to dry naturally. You see this side over here, it's already dry. I like for it to dry on its own, okay? If you use a blow dryer, I have a lot of people who use a blow dryer, they don't have a problem, but I'm just telling you uh, from a chemistry point of view, if you use a blow dryer, it's a possibility that one area might dry faster than the other and you're losing your time, you're losing your hole before you even apply the lace or your next layer. It needs to dry on its own, okay? You don't wanna, uh, if I over dry it, then I'm gonna, that's gonna interfere with my, my hole, okay? So you really want it to dry on its own, like this side has already dried on its own. Now I can go ahead and do my next layer. I'm only gonna do two, I don't wear my wigs that long, but two is sufficient for me. I know some people would do two and they go like a whole two weeks. But if you really want to get a good hole, I just suggest you take your time and do these layers like I'm doing. If you a pro at this, you don't have problems with how you do it, then keep doing what you're doing. But for those who are like still learning the process, if you know that I try not to put a lot up under my cap, I have a lot of face space. I also have a model that I'm gonna be doing this week who has a low hairline. And I'm gonna show you what I want you guys to do for these low hairlines, cause I notice a lot of people adding glue onto the cap. So my main thing, I, I supply education here. I'm all about education. So I wanna make sure that we are understanding how this glue works, especially if it gets on hair or under in, on somebody who you know has to remove it themselves and being safe because that's the most important thing is being safe. It's no specific time as long as it dries clear. If your body is hot, while you're applying it will not turn clear okay you bought the extreme so if it if it if it gets chunky or something is off it could have been in uh temperatures below a certain degree it could have been in a uh a too cold cold of an area um if you want to make sure that you're buying authentic products you can purchase them from the website if you have any issues email my team so they can help you directly on the website So now I can go to the other side. And you don't wanna sit here and constantly rub it. You wanna get it flat and move on to the next area. Cause it's drying, as you put it on here, it's drying. So you will end up messing up the, um, messing up the glue, rubbing on it too much. <laughs> yeah, it takes longer to dry on the hair, but I'm gonna uh, actually, show you a trick i actually already did it on here before where i put the tape i put the tape across here but i would really only need that for like people with low hairlines we're gonna get down to the bottom of that this week i just been so busy but i found me a low hairline person so we don't uh, right now we just have this I don't think it's necessary on the remover the only reason why we did the lemon um, myrtle is for uh, antibacterial that's the only reason why we did it no other uh, reason so I don't really we don't have a problem with our uh, remove our current remover we didn't necessarily do it just for a smell. That just happened to be one of the uh, ingredients that we could add into the glue to give additional support. And we just promoting it. Because it's one of the most important things that we need right now, especially when we have people. It's hard for me to get people to follow the instructions. So I have to protect them some kind of way or try to protect them, even if they don't want to protect themselves. So that is the reasoning behind the um, lemon burst. All right, so I'm gonna wipe this. You get the lemon bag, yes, you get the lemon bag when you get these two together, and you'll see it on there tomorrow. I will, we'll see how it goes. Right now, with the people who have eczema, those are, have been our main people who have been testing the product. 
uh, people with eczema. We, we had all different type of people testing, but our main focus was people with eczema, psoriasis, and other skin issues. If they can use it, anybody can use it. I'm wiping off those dots. Really could have did that after the first layer. But you see, we already clear over here, right? You can um, go to, just for y'all to know, anytime we restock, it's always going to be midnight. So it'll be midnight tonight. If you wanted to do another layer, you could. You see how even I don't have a bunch of glue all stuck inside here, right here? But it's, it's because I got a, a large face space. But if you don't, then you would do, this is what I would want you to do. I'm gonna do it right here on this line. If you got a low hairline, this is a, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get the bow hole lace tape. I'm gonna do an actual person. Hopefully she can come tomorrow or Tuesday. That's what we are um, looking at. We're gonna do it live. If you got a low hairline, this is what I'm expecting from you to do. I'm expecting for you to lay that tape across here okay I'm expecting for you to pull this off I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer so that uh, y'all can see this. I do not want this wig to be too tight on my head it can go on your skin it can go on your skin and on the on the um cap this is gonna protect your hair okay because I see a lot of y'all putting the glue on the cap okay so then you will go, you will be able to put this glue on here without it getting on the hair, okay? I'm going to actually do an actual, I don't necessarily have to worry about nothing like this because y'all see I got all that room to put the glue. But you got a lot of people who don't and I want y'all to be careful. So this right here, you can put, you can go back further. You can go, you can go back further with the glue if you put the tape there it's all about safety okay i don't care what you heard i don't care what you've been told and i don't care what you didn't see all right i've been doing this for over 20 years i know that i have a lot of people who um who are wearing the glue for trend right even if they don't want to protect themselves i gotta try my best to help protect them okay so that's what that's about and try to if you have something in the little crevice get that out Okay. I'm just doing this because I didn't put that tape on there. I wasn't gonna do that. I was gonna try to save it for the live. But sometimes I know it'd be hard for y'all to jump on here and get this information. Just like it's hard for me to jump on here and give out the information because I'm just really busy too. But y'all let me know if y'all understand that. Like, does that make sense to y'all? They said no sound. I don't know. Out of town, they might go somewhere and move or whatever. You didn't put this lace on them and they can't get it off because you got a ton of glue on their real hair. All right, so that's why I was saying put the tape on top of the cap and then put the glue on top. That way, you don't have to bring their wig down so far. So, yeah, I'm gonna do a visual. I just had to get a, a, a good model because people, um, I was looking for a good model and people were sending me pictures and they just their hairline wasn't low enough. And if their hairline is not low enough, it's just not gonna do you any good. Okay? All right, so now I'm, I'm clear, right? I got a little glare, but I'm clear. I always start in the middle when I put mine on. And sometimes you can hairspray, like sometimes those little hairs will get in the way. I'm using my mirror and I'm recording with uh, another camera too. I didn't tint my lace either. Sometimes I do it while it's on. I'm not pressing. I'm not doing anything. Because if I press right now, let's just say I put it in the wrong place. And then I have to change the light too. Because I didn't realize I had that uh, filter on there. I don't want no filter. Okay. So, I'm not pressing nothing in. Because... I want to make sure I got this laid in the right spot. Okay? It's, it's good. Now I want to go over here and lay the other side. Just in case. Because I can pull it up real quick. And readjust. 
but once you press it in that's pretty much it okay all right so I'm cool with where it's at now I'll press it in all right and I still I did not tip my lace I'm gonna do it after And some of y'all might be saying it don't need it, but you can see right there it need it. It just depends on how I turn my head, okay? So I wanna blow dry this in with cold air. Glue, no matter what kind of glue, the glue that you put on your wall for wallpaper, glue reacts to heat, okay? Glue reacts to heat. Glue reacts to heat. So we're gonna use cold air. Okay, that's science. Okay, so we're going to use cold air. And I want you to press this in until I want you to blow dry it until you don't feel nothing sticky. Okay? I don't want you to put it on and then tie it down. Okay? I want you to blow dry it with cold air before you tie it down. to blow dry it with cold air do not do not lay that lace down and tie it down please don't do that use cold air it, it will turn white if your initial application was not um, proper it should not you probably need to go live on here with me or FaceTime my uh, customer service. They FaceTime you in your DM. I'm going to help y'all with the small foreheads. I got some people lined up. I'm going to do it online. Yeah, especially with the tape. If you um got a little forehead. So I don't want to stop blow drying until I don't feel nothing sticky. I'm not going to stop. No matter what. If the baby crying, you're going to put her in your lap and keep blow drying. But you're not going to stop blow drying until you don't feel nothing sticky. Okay? You're not going to stop blow drying. You're not going to stop. And I don't know how many times. I got to say that. But don't stop until it's not sticky all right so now i did not oh i'm gonna cut my lace on the side because i got a little lace right there this wig kind of fit super perfect the only thing i gotta do is just a little bit of um lace right here it's not much All right. Okay, so first, my lace is not tinted. It probably look good over here when I turn my head right there, but it's not tinted. So, and you can see it when I turn a different, a certain side. You can see it right here. Let's see if I can turn over here and you can see. Maybe a little bit, but it's not much. But let's do it anyway. Let's do it. I don't think I have nothing I need when I do this vlog. Look, I'm gonna just spray this. All right, I got the caramel. I'm not doing a lot. The if you keep spraying on this on this lace tint, shake it up. If you uh, spray too much on your lace, it is it's gonna get darker. It's gonna get darker and darker. All right, so we only I only glue right here. I didn't glue this because I want to show you how it operates with the liquid gold. I'm gonna turn this way because I want to make sure that I'm getting that. And this is for like pictures and stuff. Everybody don't want to do makeup. I like makeup. I like makeup and I like doing a tint. But I know it's a lot of people that don't like makeup. Makeup is a breathing ground for bacteria. I don't wear my wigs long. So it don't necessarily bother me that bad. This was, uh, this lace was super close to my skin tone, but not quite. You can see it going away. But it's only when I turn a certain way. So when I turn right there, it's fine. 
but I want to be able to hit any angle when I take my picture that, you know, ain't nobody knowing my business. See how it's disappearing, right? You got to blow dry it after that with cool air. Let me go ahead and do this down here. Okay, remember, we didn't lay that down, right? Because I'm going to do, do it with liquid gold. Because I just want to show y'all options. Because everybody might not be able to get up under there with the glue. I'm using the caramel. I'm using cold air right now. Smells so good. Y'all going to love it. But y'all got to take your time with these installs. Okay. We didn't lay that down. We're going to hit that with liquid gold. I'm going to leave it alone. I think I'm good. I'm going to leave it alone. My hair, it comes from Ashley Marie Collection. We are out of 613 right now. Once we get some, I will post. All right. So, at this point right here, you can tie it down and style the hair. However, I was showing you a piece over here that I'm going to get with the liquid gold, okay? So this liquid gold really comes in handy too, guys. Like, I even like it to go on top of my installs. If you want to make these installs tight, like, just go on. You can go on top with liquid gold because I'm not about to do a baby hair with this. I'm just going to take some of the liquid gold. Firstly, I'm going to go over here. This was that area where it wasn't totally glued down. And it's so thin right there, which is fine. Like if you you can take your time and you can go in with glue. But I just want to show you some options. Some people may not be as like careful. Okay, they may not be have that steady hand, right? So if you know that's you, you can go on top of that little area with the liquid gold and just like smooth it out and then blow dry it. All right. You may not have that steady hand, and that's okay. We got a, a trick for that, right? Not doing too much because I'm not really trying to wear baby hair with this hairstyle. Cold air. So no, it's not up. Once it's up, the side is up for the wig, then I'll post it. We just been having a hard time getting what I need. So we just took them off the side, but we'll, we're gonna put up some 613 wigs. right just in case for those who like I, I don't want to go under there I might put too much glue you could do that or you could go over this whole unit just around the edge a little bit just to give yourself like extra additional hold. I'm not laying baby hair guys because I don't feel like it'll look good with this hair this particular hairstyle this is just gonna be more straight I just want to smooth these edges out a little bit I'm not doing too much I had a little a little lace right there that's fine you can get it with the liquid gold Cause like I said, you're going to have some people that's not, they might not have a steady enough hand to go back under there with the glue or they might get it everywhere. So you can just do it just like that. I didn't use a lot of liquid gold. I just used a little bit cause I don't want it crusty and hard, right? So you just see me using a little bit, barely, barely, not a lot, not a lot. I just went across there just a little bit. I'm using, I'm using glue. It's glue under here. Glue reacts to heat. You, you can take a blow dryer. Do y'all know y'all can take a blow dryer and take some wallpaper that's been on the wall for 20 years. You can take a blow dryer and it'll make it come off because glue reacts to heat. The, um, I'm trying to get this clear so y'all can see. Okay, so there we go. Right? We good to go. She on here. No crusty dusty. All she need to be is flat iron. Too easy. It's that easy. And some people, they be like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Y'all gotta slow 
down. I ain't nobody special. You got to slow down. You got to slow down. That's the only way you're going to make it look nice. It look real, right? You got to slow down. No baby hair. No baby hair on this. Because I I personally wouldn't put baby. I put like baby hair on curly hair. But y'all got to slow down. If you want to get these results, you got to slow down. Do it just the way I did. Like go back. I'm going to say this video. Slow down. Go slower. Don't be in a rush. Don't be anxious. If your body hot, get you some cold water. Put ice in it. Sometimes us ladies over 40, we just hot for no reason. Okay? Some people start menopause at 25. Okay? If you hot, this is water-based. This is water-based. It's water-based. It's water-based. It will react. Okay? So if you are hot, get a glass of ice water. Drink it. Your body will cool down just like that. So, um, how do, my part, I don't think my part need, I still got to go style this, but I always, uh, part mine, wet it, part it, and put it under the dryer when I dry mine. And I feel like it getting molded better that way. But y'all slow down. So y'all installs can look good. Thank you. Thank you, Coke Fine body. Coke bottle, fine body. Yep, it's your body, like your body heat. If you have a problem with, um, hold on y'all. If you have a problem with just being hot, we're gonna do this this week too, we're gonna do the max. If you got a problem with just being hot and just, I don't know what to do, you're gonna have to switch. You're gonna have to go to a silicone, okay? Today we did the lemon myrtle. I'm gonna save this live, cause I gotta get off of here. I got, I got, um, I got a cup. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm coming back with these low hairlines this week, okay? Natural. That is from taking your time. It don't take for when somebody say take their time, like you ain't gotta be doing the people hair all night. You ain't gotta be putting your wig on for three hours. It didn't take us three hours. Okay? If you sweat your head at night, tie it down. Oh shoot, one last thing. Alright, sorry. If you sweat in your head, I'm glad you did it because I almost jumped off of here. If you know that you a sweater, you know you got problems. Okay? If you know you got problems, what you're going to do is take your skin protect. You know you got problems with, with um your hole. Dry it. You can do that on top of either one of these glues. Dry it all the way until it's completely dry. You shouldn't feel nothing wet. Don't halfway do it. Dry it all the way. You got a stock? A boho stock? Well, I'm going to just do this other stock. Cold air. Once it's completely dry, then you can tie it down and you can style the rest of it. Okay? I don't have no scarf, but I'm going to use this. Tie it down, and then I can go ahead and flat iron the rest of my hair, and I'm done. You take it off when you're done. Let the glue, this also helps the glue to settle for at least 15 to 20 minutes. I say do it right before you style the back. See, I can go ahead and start flat ironing the back, and then take this off and come back to the top. The scent is, it's, it's strong, but it's not overbearing. All right, so tie, you can tie yourself down at this point, flat iron or curl the back, take this off, then you can come back to the top and you all gravy, okay? Do not tie it down until those edges are, you know, pretty much how you want them to be. Even if you do baby hair, dry it a little bit. I'm telling y'all how to make this work. Dry it a little bit and then tie it down, even if you do a baby hair, okay? If you tie yours down. That's it. I'm going to say this live. I'm coming back this week. We got some low hairlines. We got some business to handle with the low hairlines. I'm going to do this uh, max with some curly hair. And I got some tips to show y'all on this max. See y'all later. 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna go in with my Chateau Pro Flat Irons. I'll make sure I link the information in my description box so you can pick up yours. These flat irons are amazing. So that portion previous before this section here guys that was recorded with my iphone because my camera went out but i did not want to reshoot that portion because i felt like a lot of times when i'm doing the applications live i get a lot of questions that come up on the screen that help me with answering questions that people frequently ask so you know i just wanted to go ahead and keep that dialogue going so i just went ahead and inserted it you can see here everything is complete and now i have everything like loaded with my camera and you can see that the hairline looks amazing it looks amazing guys you just gotta take your time I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below.